Hey YouTubers, quick question. What do dancing skeletons, mysterious boxes, and classic circus arts have in common? If you answered that they're all a part of Cirque du Soleil's big top show, Kuza, then you've either seen the show, watched ahead, or you're using Google. Come on, you're a cheater. Welcome to the world of I'm Matthew Rodriguez, and welcome to the second episode of The World Of. We made it. Every week, we are releasing a new episode, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. Last week, we tackled Amazons, Valkyries, and Goddesses in Amaluna. And this week, we're going on an adventure into the topsy-turvy world of Kuza, where two circus traditions, acrobatic performance and the art of clowning, combine to create something very unique. Let's pop the lid and unbox the world of Kuza. So this show highlights the physical demands of human performance in all its splendor and fragility, presented in a colorful mix that emphasizes good old fashioned, bold slapstick humor. Kuza's like in your face. Like it's like, whoa, we're a big show with lots of tricks. Kuza is about human connection and the world of duality and good and bad and like all the stuff and like yin and yang and black and white. And really just like me, it doesn't take itself too seriously, but it's very much about ideas. As it evolves, we are exploring concepts such as fear, identity, recognition, and power! Casting director? What's your name? I don't even know. <laughs> Eve. Today we have our main man, Eve, here, who was the casting director of Kuza. Yep. What was that like? I, I, I imagine casting a show for Cirque is not only hard, but it's so specific. What you need to find, you can't just yeah, well, cast this, anyone. This one, Kuza, was directed by a clown, a famous clown, David Shiner. I, it's my speciality here at, at Cirque. So when they said, Eve, you wanna, you wanna collaborate on this one, not only casting the clowns, but everyone from, from the artistic side, so musicians, uh, singers, and actors, and that. So I said, yes, for sure. And, uh, and it was building a tribe following the vision of David and Serge, who was the creative director back then, and then build something that was, that still is, a show that is in your face, like circus as the best as you can have it. The acrobatic side is scary, and then the clowns are like funny as hell. How many people do you audition for this kind of show? I don't even remember now, but for, for every <laughs> yeah. role, yeah, you, you, you might count for a creation process between seven to 15 persons who would present, you would present yeah. to the artistic director. So before that, I would say uh, two times that, so maybe 25, 30 wow. per role, so. Where do you even look for these people? Do you look on Facebook? How do you find <laughs> yeah. them, you know? Like, well, <laughs> it's not like you just put an ad in the paper, no. right? It's gonna be very, very hard. And well, this is, this, it's my job and I, you know, yeah. it's a small world. There's a lot of clowns in this world, mm -hmm. but there's not a lot of great clowns that do that you know, all the time. Clowns are like the best, um, how do you say this, thermometer mm -hmm. of what the, the, what the era is right now. Well, thank you so much for giving us some insight into the casting world. Would you cast me in something? Yes, I would. What would you, you cast you, Actually, in? you would be a good trickster. Sharp, good trickster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. And I can touch my toes. All right, here we go. <laughs> here are some fun facts about Kuza. You didn't know this, and I'm gonna tell you all about it. There are more than 175 costumes. That's like, I mean like, one, two, three. But these aren't actually in Kuza, I'm just doing it for dramatic effect. 160 hats in the show, 1,080 items in all, including all the shoes, props, wigs, and so on. I don't know if that counts popcorn, like each kernel, but I can count it for you. And one of the army costumes features more than 400, 400 individually sewn metallic flags to create the effect that it is armor. That's like, just a lot of work. One of our favorite acts is the Wheel of Death. It's like these big metal things that go like this, and then there's people in it doing this, and this. Just roll it. Like stupid.
Is that not insane? Thank you for coming with us on our wild Kuza adventure. What did you think of the Kuza costumes? They're pretty out there. Let us know in the comments and you have to come back next week where we get to go head to head in a battle with the cast of Ka. Like, no, we're really gonna, it's like VR stuff that's happening. Can someone just, can you pull this off? Can you just yank it? Just, oh God. <laughs> hey baby, how you doing? <laughs> okay. Click here to see the complete playlist of The World Of, and below are some playlists and more about the episode right below me in the description. I'm Matthew Rodriguez. Remember to subscribe to Cirque du Soleil to flip your everyday reality the Cirque way where everyone every day is extraordinary. Like even my cameraman, you are extraordinary. Do you know that? The Cirque way, not a, not a boy. <laughs>